get back on focus. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a haul from two stores that I went to uh, last weekend. Yeah, actually Saturday, um, not that long ago. So yeah, and it, I went to MAC and I also went to Lush. I went to Victoria's Secret, I went to Bath and Body Works, I went to all these stores, but I'm not going to show you my underwear or my bras, and I'm not going to show you the candles I got. If you want to keep seeing the candles I buy, just comment down below and I will be sure to put that. I'll just put the names of the ones I got down below in case you guys are curious about that. Let's start off with MAC. So I was wanting to go for the new um, aquatic situation um, limited edition line thing. Um, I really want some products from there. I was not able to go when it first first came out, which I would have loved to, but I live, the closest Mac for me is an hour away, and I was super, super busy that I couldn't make it. Anyways, I just made it. I just got two, can I, can I just take the things out of here? That way we won't be having this situation here. All right such a big bag for the couple of products I got so these are both from the aquatic aquatic line so first off I got a lipstick from them um, this is a cream sheen lipstick this is in the shade goddess of the sea I am in love with mauvey purpley um, lipsticks sorry the packaging grabbed my attention like look at this hopefully the camera picks it up horrible you guys so it I did get a mauve purple of course because all of the rest of them were sold out because it's been a week since so let me swatch this for you guys Ooh, I love cream sheens to begin with love cream sheens it gives it that beautiful sheer that it should without having to use a lip gloss but at the same time it's so beautiful it's this beautiful purpley mauvey color I can't wait to get this on my lips now I got a bronzer from them this is the extra dimensional bronzer this one is in the shade drop the product this is in the shade Del Delphic 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 and of course the packaging is gorgeous. I'm a sucker for packaging. If I could have gotten everything, I would have, but we all know MAC is a little on the pricey side. So, yeah, and I think this was the closest one to be a good shade as a bronzer for me. I'm not super dark. Uh, my ethnicity is Hispanic, so I am an olivey, yellowy, color tannish situation so this i believe was the darkest that they had and it is the extra dimension one which just says mac all on it which were the only two i was able to get because all the other lipsticks were sold out and the bronzers were clearly too pale or too light or yellow for me and then i picked up a mineralized skin finish I had to try this immediately, so I lost the box, of course. Um, and this is in Soft and Gentle. And can we just take a moment for their new packaging? I am obsessed with. It is super, super cute. I love how they went from, like, this sort of packaging to this, which it just grabs much more attention. Um, so, yeah, Soft and Gentle. Love it for my olive skin tone situation. It is the most beautiful highlight I don't own highlighters because my face already looks like a disco ball aka I'm oily so it I don't really pick up or grab it towards highlighters or anything like that but these it just I was just so curious and another thing I was like well I don't have to use this as a highlighter I could just use this as an eyeshadow spray a little bit of fix plus on it and I'm good to go so I was super super excited for this so I was like well, I'm going to try it, so let me just show you how gorgeous is this color. And if I wasn't on focus, it is this big square here. I am in love with it. It is the most beautiful highlight ever. I put it on even when I just wear like a BB cream like today. I did put it on the high points of my cheeks right here just to give me a little bit of a glow. I swear you guys, I am obsessed with highlighters now. I, I'm really obsessed with this one, of course. Um, it looks beautiful. It's got, the, like, 
it's like a beigey but with gold undertones i'm sure you can see there with like gold undertones so i love it it just catches the light on your skin so beautifully and just grab this and put some fix plus on it and put it on your lids ah gorgeous gorgeous so i i really do want to go get some more because they have like about five of these i think um but I am obsessed with this particular one, and I am using highlighter like... That's why I told you I had to open it. I used it Sunday. I used it other, another day this week, and they were just... And then I got a beautiful compliment of how beautiful my skin was going, which, of course, thank you, MAC. Get an eyeshadow pan because I ran out of this specific color. This is in soft brown. I love this guy. Let me just show you or swatch you. He's like a tanny color. He is this beautiful color here. Um, it is more of that orangey, tannish color. I wish, hopefully, the camera is picking its true color. Between these two, um, it's beautiful. It's in between, like, a tan. And it's just a beautiful transition color. Take my word for it. If you're ever at a MAC um, store, just try out Soft Brown. I got this in the pan because it just goes on my little MAC. Palette. And then I picked up an eyeshadow I do not own, and this is a matte one. This is a brown script, which I've been dying to get my hands on because they say this is a beautiful transition color, outer V color, etc. color. And I didn't get this in a pan because they didn't even have it in a pan to begin with. So, I guess I can't keep going. But it is just kind of, to me, it's more of that... Um, it's a dark brown, but it's more on the burgundy-ish, side-ish, if that makes any sense. It is this beautiful color here. I think he is gorgeous for a transition color as well. Look at how pigmented that is. I know the color. I mean, the camera is probably doing this no justice, but it looks tan. It's really not. It's that burgundy in between, like, dark brownish, burgundy-ish color. It just looks so beautiful. And I'm ready to try this on my eyelids already. This is everything I picked up from MAC. So next I went to Lush, of course. And Lush is just um, homemade fresh cosmetics. So they have cleansers, toners, moisturizers, um, lip balms, lip scrubs, um, scrubs for the body. They have... Um, masks fresh masks everything it's um from them i love my mask of magnum and tea so so much you guys if you've never been to lush you should really check it out because what i love about them is that they have different sizes of the product you are looking for oh so, don't need that anymore so i got a 10 um and this is for one of my body scrubs that i bought and it just has lush on it and i just yeah i have a problem or issue with germs so I needed a 10 so I had to restock on a toner because lush from me is almost two hours away so I had to restock on what I could and this is my favorite personal toner this is breath of fresh air I love this guy I have mine which was this baby like I said I bought the small one tried it out and then went back and got the big one and let me just tell you how long this lasted me for the longest. I got this in February and we're in June. So, and I still have some, and I still have some in here. But I didn't think I would be going anytime soon. So I went ahead and restocked. So, yeah. And if you don't know, um, it's a mineral rich sea, uh, sea breeze captured in a bottle. Um, so this is good for cooling, um, for cooling to setting your uh, foundation to using as a toner. I use this more as a toner, sometimes to refresh. Sometimes I use this instead of my Fix Plus because this has aloe vera, um, soothing rose, and clarifying, uh, yeah, clarifying herbs um, to balance your skin. So I love this. And the, ugh, these products are um, animal friendly. This, I had to stock up on my ocean salt. I had, I've been out of my ocean salt for about uh three weeks two weeks and it has been like hell to me it just feels like forever but ocean salt if you don't know is my all-time favorite i love this scrub it's a face and body scrub by the way which i love love 
rough like scrubs or masks or things to scrub my body because I just I just like feeling that I'm being cleaned and the dirt is coming off of me so if I can open this for you guys it smells like mint and it's like this because once I like I said my boyfriend dropped the bag and everything just went everywhere but anyways um it's a vodka infused cocktail for bright fresh skin go coconuts with our best selling sea salt scrub so this is sea salt which is really really rough it's got a bluish color to it it smells like that clean minty scent i love this i love this to, uh scrub my face if i just feel like my face is going through a big situation for whatever reason or it just wants to break out i will just hit this i will do this i will use this for my body every now and then i don't like to this is kind of like this is an exfoliator so i don't like to exfoliate every night when i shower so i kind of do it every other night or every other two nights so and i really love this and once again it has fresh organic lime soaked in vodka we use them for a zingly astringent feeling and tone property so I love this guy you guys should really try this out and they have a smaller size like so they have three to two sizes in, of everything so that's pretty awesome and then I had to grab a dirty uh, spring wash shower gel which I already have one of these at the time but I didn't feel like buying the big one because like I said we all have those days where we just don't want to splurge on so much on a shower gel so this is my second one my first one lasted me for the longest as well even though I did use it every day I showered so this is this says don't be dirty get fresh with this tingly and extremely minty shower gel it's like a dip in a mountain spring with spearmint and menthol to make your skin feel cool in a hot shower so I love this stuff it is super extremely minty super extremely minty once again it is that clean minty scent um, I I love this guy I the fact that it says when it's when I saw first of all the color of this caught my attention the don't be and then the dirty I was like ooh I don't like to be dirty I was like let me see what this is so I love this I go through this stuff pretty pretty darn fast than what I should but like I said I can't help myself I use it all over my body I like squirt this all over to make sure but I love this. You should really try it. It's, you could probably tell by now. I really love men. I love it so much. It makes me feel refreshed. It makes me feel clean. Um, and I love this, by the way, gives you like a tingly feeling. Um, the first time it did give me a tingly feeling, but it's not that bad. Like, oh my God, what is happening to me? No, it is just a like good tingly feeling. Like you actually feel like you like the scrub. Blech. like this shower joe is actually cleaning your body so i really do enjoy this just like i said and you can get samples by the way if i never mentioned that and i got a lip scrub this is mint juleps of course are you surprised mint if i this smells just like five gum i can't explain it the blue one the minty one and it's just a lip scrub which my lips have been needing a really good scrub so this just says um tasty mint chocolate sugar lip butter for smooth butter for smooth moves and sweeter kisses um this is homemade again and you can actually eat this is what i've heard it says scrub and buff your lips to softness lick off the access then apply your favorite lip balm so yeah he's a little baby he's the cutest little thing and i love him already because he's mini and they just have these in one size by the way but yeah um i have been needing of a good lip scrub i haven't done a scrub on my lips for a while so i decided to do one mm. this is the aqua i have to read it off my receipt because it doesn't they put your scrubs in a bag like such which has the fighting animal testing logo I had told you guys about um but this is the aqua mare bliss butter there we go so it's it's a body scrub like this so this is a scrub and it's melting in my fingers Jesus how hot am I 
So this is the scrub anyways, and you literally take this and scrub. Now, the thing I like about this one, this is my first time trying it. One of the girls there just sold it. Like, like she sold me. I was like, I've got to have that in my life. Put it in the bag. So she was, she tried it on my hand. I really liked it. It was really, really rough because it's more almondy or almondy. It's really like an almond scent. Um, so yeah, basically when you first start it, it's going to feel like prickly, which is what I like. I like hard, rough scrubs that I can feel like, like they're scratching me. So that's what that is. Um, but at the same time, after you're done with your shower, your skin will feel very, very moisturized, which is a plus with me because I don't really like lathering my body with lotion. I just don't like how lotion feels. Is that, am I, how weird is that? I had to hear myself say that because, yeah, I just don't like the way lotion feels for whatever reason. I feel like I'm creased up or something, like someone's going to shove me in an oven or something. But anyways, I don't like to, so it leaves it really, really smooth and moisturized, which I loved. And the way, I love how it smells personally, I really do. It smells very refreshing. It's not minty. Which really sucks because if they had a mint one, I would have totally gotten it, of course. But they don't. So, what can you do? So, yeah. But, I really, really love it. I can't wait to try these products. Seriously, I think I'm getting ready to just take all my makeup off. Go get in the shower. My name is Gabriella Villasenor, and I have a shopping problem. Hey, okay, guys. So, that is it um thank you guys so much for watching if you do like hauls like these um whether it's mac or anything please be sure to give it this video a thumbs up especially if you enjoyed it Th those are really appreciated and be sure to subscribe me on youtube that way you don't miss out on any of my videos and if you have any requests for me please be sure to put those down in the description box i know a lot of you don't check that out but please check down in the description box. There's a lot of stuff down there for you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.